Welcome to Northern Lights Over Arkham. I'm JP and today I'm finishing up the Clobber in Time Challenge created by Kennedy Hawk from the Marvel Champions Monthly Podcast. If you would like to try out this challenge, I've added a link into the video description for you so you can check out the rules of the challenge and how to build your decks. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This time I'll be playing uh, Spider-Man Protection against the Wrecking Crew and I'll be playing the Wrecking Crew at the A side only. So let's get going. I've pre-shuffled all the decks so let's draw our opening hand and get on our way. This hand looks pretty good so I think I'll discard only Mediteam and Tenacity. I'll keep Aunt May, Energy Barrier and Power of Protection and Weapon Shooter. Draw two more cards. Get a Wept Up and Preemptive Strike. Okay, so I'll use uh, Peter Parker's ability to generate one mental resource to play Aunt May. I'll use, actually, I'll play the web shooters. And I'll use the power of protection to play energy barrier. I'll use Webbed Up to play Aunt May. And I'll flip. I'll start hitting. I think we beat up Pile Driver first, so I'll hit Pile Driver for two. And that's it, so I ready up and draw up to five. And that's the hero phase, so let's go to the villain phase. We add one threat here for the main scheme. Then we add one threat to each side scheme. Then the Active villain is the Wrecker. A Wrecker will hit. I draw a card. I won't defend. Wrecker hits for 3 damage. I'll backflip and ignore the damage. And we get an encounter card. Your dead meat. I deal one damage to the hero or ally with the fewest remaining hit points if that character is defeated. Well, no risk here. I take one damage. Okay, so that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I'll use one resource from Web Shooter and enhance Spider Senses, Preemptive Strike, and Endurance. Play down Avengers Mansion. We draw one card, get another backflip. Actually, forgot to take the retaliate last turn, so I'll just uh, remove it now. I'll hit Pile Driver again. Uh, this time I'll use the energy barrier to take uh, put the damage on Pile Driver from the retaliate. I draw up to five. And that's the end of the hero phase. I ready up. And the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme. And we add one threat to all of the side schemes. Uh, Wrecker is still the active villain, so. Wrecker attacks. I won't defend. I draw one card. 
Well, I have all of the web swimming web kicks in hand, so we'll try to burn out the villains as fast as possible with those next turn. But let's see. Uh, Breaker hits for two plus. Body system. So this moves to uh, pile driver. So I'll backflip the damage and pile driver uh, reveals an encounter card. Oversized hands. I discard one support I control with the highest cost. Unfortunately, it's the Venture's Mansion. So that gets discarded. And nothing I can do about it. Okay, so that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I'll use one web shooter charge and one web kick and expert defense to play swinging web kick and to be just kill off pile driver we take one damage from the retaliate but i'll use the energy barrier to put that damage on the bulldozer let's try to take him down next so pile driver is removed we put the active villain counter onto the villain with the most threat. Just leave these here. And then we hit uh, Bulldozer for two. And that's it. We're ready up. I discard Nova, throw up to five. One too many cars. And uh, that's the hero phase, let's go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main team. And we add one threat to each of the side teams. Wrecker attacks. This time we have to defend. I get one card. And Wrecker hits for four damage. I would be taking one. Uh, I'll play expert defense. And I take no damage. Wrecker. Uh, takes out an encounter card, so held hostage. I can't remove threat from that uh, sheem over there. And that's the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. I use the web shooter. Last charge on there. One uh, resource tenacity for the second and webbed up for the third one. I play swimming web kick on uh, Bulldozer we do, to do 8 damage there. Then I'll think I will. Yeah, so I'll draw back up to 5. Ready up. And we go to the villain phase. So, one threat to the main team. 4 out of 6. We need to do something about that really soon. Uh, Wrecker's scheme will advance. And we leave three threat there. And I did deal two damage to each fr friendly character, so Spider-Man takes two damage. Then we add up uh, the threat to the other 
villains. And the active villain is Thunderstruck, uh, the Thunderball. Uh, Thunderball attacks. We will not defend. We draw one card. And Thunderball attacks for two. I'll use that. To play. I used the uh, spider tracker to play preemptive strike to deal one damage to the villain. I'll take one damage. And after Thunderbolt attacks, you deal one damage to each character you control, so I take one more damage. Uh, actually, I used that to. Uh, I use energy barrier to deflect that and kill off Bulldozer. So Bulldozer is also defeated. We are down to two villains and then we get the uh, encounter card which is energy projectile still one damage to each friendly character you control. Okay so Spider-Man takes one damage. So that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Spider-Man Torch for one. I'll flip. I'll use Aunt May to heal four. I use all of these cards to play it down Luke Cage. And use the Spider-Man. Uh, Peter Parker's extra resource for that. And that's the hero phase. Let's draw back up to six. And then let's go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Thunderball is still the active villain. We add the threats over here and Actually, this, this goes through. I'll stun each friendly character. Should have seen that coming. Well, we leave three threat there. And the acting villain is now a Wrecker. And Wrecker will stream. Or two plus one, so three, and then we get an encounter card, which is Mystical Link. Place two threat on each side. She. That's not good. Okay, so that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I'll use Peter Parker's ability to generate one resource to play down Armored Vest. And May will heal us back up to 10. I'll flip and remove the stun. And Luke Cage will remove the stun as well. Of does it get removed because the attack was cancelled? And I'll use Genius to play down Enhanced Physique to get some extra resources for later turns. And uh, that's my turn. I'll discard uh, Spider Tracker and get behind me. Draw up to 5. Ready up and then we add one threat to the main scheme. 
then we add thread to the side seam so wrecker uh, will advance again so we deal two damage so tough gets removed from Luke cage and spider-man takes two damage and that's still in play the active villain is now Thunderball. Thunderball attacks. I defend with Spider-Man. I'm just thinking, should I... I'll take the damage. Yeah. So, we get 4 damage, unfortunately. And... Uh, we deal one damage to each friendly character, so I'll just remove five from Spider-Man. And encounter card is... I've been waiting for this. The active villain heals three hit points and gets a tough status card. And there's 13, so we just add one, one hit point there. Okay. So that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I'll play down uh, another enhanced physique. I'll use. Yeah, uh, first I'll thwart one from here. Then I'll flip. I'll use Peter Parker's resource and expert defense to play down black cat then i will use these two to play down defensive stance and may will heal for four and luke cage and black cat will both thwart for two here. Actually, Black Cat will remove the tough. So I don't take the consequential damage, so just remove one there. And that's the hero phase. Let's ready up. And I draw up to six. So I'll get an extra encounter card. Villain, uh, villain phase starts, we add one threat there and one threat to each side sheen. The active villain is still Thunderball and he seems So 3 plus 0 and we move the active token to the wrecker so we are three so we're at nine and let's see the encounter card so first up the thunderball card tactical prowess so we move all thread from here to here. Uh, Luke Cage should have one more damage and then this trigger so I stun each character again. Well that's that's disappointing. We uh, leave three threat there. Then the wrecker. I attach this to wrecker, so he gets plus one attack. 
And when he attacks, we play threat to his shim. And that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. First thing I will do is heal up to 10 with Aunt May. I'll use Peter Parker's uh, ability to play web shooter. I will remove the stun from Black Cat. And I will I will flip and thwart for one. And Luke Cage will attack to remove the actually yeah doesn't take the damage. Mm, yeah, I think that's the turn. I'll discard a few cards and then ready up. We add one threat at the start of the villain phase to there, here and here, and move the counter to the active villain which is Thunderball. Thunderball attacks. Uh, I will defend with Spider-Man. I draw one card. I should have drawn a couple of more cards also. And I'll I won't defend this time. So Thunderball hits for one plus zero. So just take the one damage and then I'll take one damage on each character. And uh, the encounter card is Lightning Blast. I would place three there. I'll cancel that with the uh, enhanced spider senses and I'll use I'll use the I used a second win from hand. Okay. That's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Really need more cards, but what can you do? Uh, I'll play it down uh, Tenacity with uh, one from there and one from there. And I'll hit for two with Spider Man. We'll hit uh, Thunderball. I'll use one. Strength resource and discard tenacity to ready, and I hit another time. Luke Cage. Uh, uh, well, I, at least Black Widow will hit once here. Uh, Black Cat, I mean. And I think Luke Cage will defend this turn. We discard these cards draw up to five and we ready up we st start the villain phase we had one thread there actually yeah well we had threads the side seams and Thunderball is still the active villain so actually uh, I'll take this back that Luke Cage will just hit for two because uh, Thunderball will hit and kill it down and actually Black Cat would have rather thwarted. So 
have let's do it like this yeah small back seas but it is what it is uh, yeah so i get one card when thunderball uh, hits i will i will not defend so thunderball hits for three I'll use the defensive stance. I ignore three damage and remove one damage from Thunderball's attack ability. We get an encounter card, which is get wrecked. So Thunderball seems uh, seems for five. So this advances. already stunned so doesn't do anything okay so that's the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase just ready these up and start the hero phase I'll play the med team I'll use it right away to heal two from spider-man I'll hit with Spider-Man to remove the stun. Then I will use these three to play swinging, swinging web kick and uh, defeat Thunderball. Villain left. I'll use downtime to play down the web second web shooter and that's it so ready up and draw up to five. And let's go to the villain phase. And Wrecker will attack. I will draw one card. Wrecker hits for uh, three plus one. And we place one threat on his sheen. I'll ignore all of the damage with backflip. And then Wrecker will. Uh, Get an encounter card, which is Chaos in the Prison. Choose to either discard an upgrade you control or place one threat on the active villain side scheme for each upgrade you control. Well, I control too many upgrades, so I'll just uh, discard one of my web shooters. And that's it. So that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We start the hero phase by thwarting for one. And then we'll use one resource from the web shooter and a couple of cards from hand to play swinging web kick, deal eight damage to Wrecker. We play down Endurance, so we get uh, yeah, we get three health. Uh, that's the hero phase. Let's ready up. Draw up to five. Let's go to the villain phase. We add one threat here, and one threat here, and Wrecker will attack. We draw one card, 
and I I can't uh, well actually I could yeah I'll defend so breaker hits for two three four damage we defend for four so we take no damage and wrecker gets one threat on his sheen encounter card is escaped convict comes into play gain search and we get mystical link we place two threat on each side sheen And that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I'll play down Tenacity with Emergency and uh, get behind me. I'll use one resource from here to ready up and discard Tenacity. I'll thwart with Spider-Man and I'll discard uh, that card at least ready up draw back up to five uh, villain face we add one threat to the main scheme and one to the side scheme wrecker will attack we will defend Three damage and one threat to the side sheen. I'll, I don't take any escaped cosmic hits me for one. And we get the encounter card, which is I've been waiting for this. The active villain heals three damage. I'll cancel that with enhanced spider senses. I'll use web shooters for that one. So uh, Wrecker doesn't heal. So that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So the hero phase starts and I think I'll just end it here and play uh, swinging web kick and do 8 damage to Wrecker, defeating him. So. That was the clobbering time challenge, uh, Spider-Man protection against the Wrecking Crew. If you like my content, check out other videos on my channel. There's a couple of links in the end of this video. And uh, remember, if you like my content, please subscribe to keep ahead when I publish new videos. Thanks for watching and until next time.